Treatment of lung cancer is moving in a very exciting direction. We're now able to personalize therapies for a lot of patients with lung cancer. What that means is you take the tumor tissue of a patient, do some testing, sophisticated testing, find out what's unique about that patient, and then come up with a treatment that is more likely to help that particular patient sitting in front of you. And it is in this direction that the EGFR mutation is important. Nearly 15 to 20 percent of patients with a form of lung cancer called lung adenocarcinoma have this mutation in their tumor. So for these patients, we don't give chemotherapy, we don't give immunotherapy, we give them drugs that specifically block the EGFR pathway. So now we not only test, but have a number of drugs to choose from, even within the EGFR family, to how best to treat them. What is exciting about this research that we've just reported in the New England Journal is this drug called osimertinib seems to pr produce significant improvements in the effectiveness of the drugs that are used to treat patients with EGFR mutation. We compared this drug to some of the currently used standard EGFR inhibitors and we saw a nearly 54 percent reduction in the risk of the disease getting worse or the patients dying from the disease with this new drug compared to being treated with the older drugs. And this is already leading to some important changes in how we approach patients in the day-to-day -day clinical setting.